Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to create this cartoon version loop in Blender. So let's get started. Okay, guys, I'm gonna start with adding a plane. So Shift A and add a plane. Okay, now let's go to modifier properties and add a ocean modifier. Now I'm gonna set the repeater X3 as well as the Y3. Okay, now we increase the scale of this ocean modifier like that. Now I'm gonna just adjust some properties here. So I'm gonna open the waves and here I will set the alignment to 0 0.5 like that. I will also set the spatial size to 30 so we can get a little bit small ocean with a lot of details. Okay, to create a loop we need to animate the time and the scale. So I'm gonna go to one second of the timeline and set the keyframe for the Time. I'm gonna set this time value to zero and then create a keyframe. Let's also open the scale properties. So I'm gonna set the scale to zero in the one second. So let's create a keyframe. Now let's go back to end of this timeline. I have 250 keyframes. Okay, so I'm gonna go to end of these keyframes and then set this time to 10 and scale to one. Now I'm gonna create a keyframe for this properties like that now you will see this transition animation like that now we need to duplicate this ocean modifier so i'm gonna close this up and then select this arrow key and then press this duplicate or you can just press shift d to duplicate the effect okay now i'm gonna open this ocean one modifier like that i'm gonna set the geometry to displace for this one okay let's go back to first frame of the timeline and then set the time to 10 this one and then create a keyframe and then also set the scale of this waves one in the first frame and let's create a keyframe okay now let's go back to 250 or your last keyframe of the timeline and then set this scale value to zero and create a keyframe and then set the time to 20 like that okay now you will have this ocean but as you can see animation is stopped at the end and the start we don't need that so i'm gonna select this uh, ocean plane and then go to crop editor this one and then let's zoom out a little bit and drag it up so we can see all the keyframes so i'm gonna select this all the keyframes and then press t on my keyboard and then set the linear interpolation so this way we can get this linear animation like that so as you can see now we have this looping option now let's add a shader for this one you can add a realistic shader if you want a realistic ocean because i'm gonna use this animation for my 2d work i'm gonna add a 2d shader okay so make sure go to render property and set the engine to ev if you have a realistic material go for cycle okay so i'm gonna go to shader tab zoom out a little bit now i'm gonna create a new shader and let's name this ocean i'm gonna delete this principal bsdf shader you don't need that we need uh, emission so i'm gonna press f3 on my keyboard to bring this search property and i'm gonna search for emission let's add a emission link this to surface like that okay now we need to add a color amp effect so i'm gonna press f3 on my keyboard to bring this search property and search for color amp okay now i'm gonna just link this color to color okay now let's set this to constant and then bring it here i'm gonna add a blue color for ocean to get that ocean looking and i will set this to white color now let's press shift a and then go to input and add a funnel this one and i'm gonna set this to factor like that okay now let's switch this color so we can get a nice ocean as you can see you have to little bit adjust these sliders you can also add a secondary one and give a different color something like that yeah looks cool and that's basically this shader if you have a realistic water shader or just go youtube and search for realistic water shader you will find a realistic one as you can see now you will be able to use this for your 2d work now let's go to layout now i'm gonna add a camera so let's go to front view and i'm gonna press shift a and add a camera now let's press tilt on your keyboard and go to top view and i'm gonna set the camera here let's bring it up and open a new window and then press t to remove this toolbar and let's also 
hide these settings and then press zero on your keyboard to, to view the camera now go to viewport shading and you will see this as you can see we need to just a little bit i think white is too much so let's go back to shader press zero again and then you can just play with these sliders now if you press the space bar as you can see you will see this really looking cool cartoon ocean loop animation just remove the word opacity now you can just go to scene and then give a output for your scene go with a png make sure you go to render properties and go to film and set this to transparent we remove all the background and give a transparent so you can just put anything behind this ocean and yeah now you can just go to output properties and give a location to save and yeah that's basically it make sure you go with png so it will keep, uh, keep the transparency and that's basically it let me show you guys a uh, work that i use this method okay as you can see this is a project that i use that technique to create this 2d ocean loop as you can see that's how you create this really nice looking cartoon ocean loop as well as thank you so much for the patient supporters i wish you guys with another cool tutorial peace